This is my entryway. Boxes. Suitcase. Boxes. Boxes. <laughs> So I was trying to edit this video and it didn't really make any sense because I never gave you the context. So I'm gonna give you the context now so that this video makes sense. Whoa! Basically, I live in Washington State, but I go to school in Connecticut. We've been through this before in my film school, but online video, if you wanna watch that, or just like the first 30 seconds of it, you'll get what I'm talking about. My school decided to open campus and have some in-person classes. It's mostly hybrid stuff. So I needed to find a way to get to school. And I didn't wanna fly because I didn't wanna catch coronavirus on a plane through my eyeballs. So I drove with some of my friends from Washington State to Connecticut to get here. And now I'm here miraculously so here's a road trip montage we're in montana so we are three days into our trip this is our airbnb Here's the rest of the video. I hope you really like it. Eyes on the door, you've got them trained. I know what you're thinking, what's it gonna take? Have another deep breath, think before you say. Think before you say, think before you say. I'll play the fool, you sit and wait. So we packed the car. Um, this is all my stuff for context. <laughs> Uh huh, and then we've got. <laughs> wow. So don't feel bad if you bring a lot of things to college. Because <laughs> you can't be worse than me. Something my college explicitly said was to only bring essentials in case they need to kick us out again. But when we moved out last semester, like I just shoved all of my stuff in a storage unit and flew back home. And I have many belongings, as it turns out, and I didn't want to keep paying for my storage unit. So I have everything I own here. And honestly, if we get kicked out again, I'm gonna be really stressed out because I have a lot of things. You know what, if I'm gonna live somewhere, I wanna have the things that make me happy, okay? Is that, is that so bad? I got my test, I got this fun little goodie bag with a mask, some 75% alcohol wipes, another mask, hand sanitizer, and then whatever this is. I have been told that this is so you can open a door without touching it, but I have no idea. But how do you use this? Before I end this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about my hopes 
my dreams, <laughs> my worries for the semester, and a little bit about what my college is actually doing because a lot of colleges are getting shut down after the first week of classes, and I really hope that doesn't happen here, and I have a good reason to believe that it won't happen here. The administration at Wesleyan has been like super clear about if you break the guidelines, you are getting ejected from campus, so hopefully that deters parties from happening, and also we're a really small population campus, so I'm really hopeful that we can do this and work together as a community to keep each other safe. Like, I'm really optimistic about it and so basically my worries are school gets shut down and somebody will get sick badly but things I'm looking forward to are seeing my friends outside from a distance we're not allowed to have people in our rooms basically so there goes crushes <laughs> For a whole semester. I'm not allowed to like anybody. I'm also looking forward to having my job again and making some money and to be actually having like a slight income. That's gonna be really nice. I can buy groceries again without being like, mommy, help me. Especially because my job doesn't really involve interacting with people. I'm also really looking forward to having something to do. Do. And honestly, being back here, like, I've already been, like, really productive just in my room, like, making videos and stuff. Things that you won't even see yet. I'm just really excited about it. I don't know about anybody else, but the serotonin release just from seeing acquaintances is insane. After six months in isolation, seeing people that I kind of know, but I'm not even, like, friends with is, like, awesome. Because it's, like, there's no other context in which I would see you, and I still get to see you. Like, that is amazing to me. Okay, that's it for this video. Video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe if you want to see some pandemic college content from me and some music. That's what I do, college and music. I'm also willing to do lots of other stuff. I just do what I want to do, honestly. I don't have a niche, which is probably the reason my growth is so slow, but I don't care. I don't need a niche. I just want to be creative on the internet. Anyway, bye. I love you. Do you love me too?